here today in beautiful St. Thomas. St. Thomas is one of three islands, the others being St. Croix and St. John, that comprise this United States territory, and it's a popular cruise destination serviced by most of the major cruise lines. The Charlotte Amelie Cruise Port has two docks, Haven Sight and Crown Bay, and today I'm docked here at Crown Bay. I docked at Haven Sight at my last visit here about three weeks ago, and both ports are equally great. They're beautiful, new, and scenic, easy to navigate, and they're piers, not tender ports, which I always like because the tendering process can take some time. Crown Bay is in Charlotte Amelie West, and it contains several duty-free shops, souvenir vendors, a prominent windmill, which makes for a great photo op, and actually contains the tourist center, coffee shops, and bars and restaurants. You can actually explore Charlotte Amelie on foot as a feasible option, but only if you're porting at Haven Site, as Crown Bay isn't really close to any of the major sites or attractions of St. Thomas. So if you're porting here, you'll probably want to take a taxi, plan an excursion, or hire a private driver. If you want a cheap option, you can take a taxi to the city center and explore from there. There are unique shops like this Turkish Bazaar and some luxury stores as well. There's a lot to see and do in downtown Charlotte Amelie, and there's a ton of history and great architecture. Regardless of where you port, St. Thomas is a premier port location for a beautiful beach day. It's home to some amazing beaches, including Cokie Beach, which is located right here next to Coral World, which in itself is also a great tourist destination. And this is also the spot in St. Thomas you want to visit if you're into scuba diving because they have a scuba diving shop right here on location. Cokie Beach is a little further from port and is one of the lesser known beaches, especially compared to Megan's Bay, so it's not as crowded. The water here is crystal clear, the sand is beautiful and soft, and there are activities as well. Another beach that's a little further from port is Sapphire Bay Beach. Regardless of what beach you choose to visit in St. Thomas, you can't go wrong. They're all awesome. Now, the most famous one is Megan's Bay Beach, where the sand is pristine, the water is clear, and the tourists always flock because it is such a famous and scenic location. The beach is surprisingly long at one mile, and if you get down a little bit further down the beach, you can escape the big crowds that tend to congregate by the Megan's Beach Bar. As you can see, this area gets really crowded, but it is nice because it is close to the bar and there are vendors renting umbrellas and chairs to tourists. Now, if you're not really a beach person or you don't wanna do a beach day, there's lots of other things to see and do in beautiful St. Thomas. If nothing else, the views are spectacular. For more free cruise tips, advice, tricks, and information, visit profmelissa.com.